The Sound Synthesis Research Center is a resource to the Music and Technology Department at uh, Stevens at the uh, School of Humanity, Arts, and Social Sciences. So what we try to do is look at the music and technology curriculum and then accent it as best we can. There's no classroom, there's no grades, there's no teachers. It's you being able to show yourself what you're made of. I think it's most important for students that study music and technology to have a place like this because they need to be overwhelmed, honestly. So that when they go back to their classroom, you got a million questions. Why? I want to get in there and I want to do something. But the minute I got in there, I turned this thing on and I didn't know what, I need to know how do I get this to happen? And so we've offered three rooms and each of the rooms has a different thing. The first one is the actual Sound Synthesis Research Center, and that has a console, and that's where we create. The ability to create means that we try to take audio, which can actually be done upstairs in Rob Harari's studio, Kitty 350, where you know a lot of kids go there to mix their albums and all that, and that's audio. But we wanna take your audio and transform it into MIDI. Now, once you have created samples with sound engines and other things that you find in there, now we have to go into the mini MIDI Magic Orchestra room, MMMO. That's where you load. Create in one room, load. Now we have the MIDI counterparts to all of your instruments. Guitar, synthesizer guitar. Bass, synthesizer bass. Of course, piano players already know synthesizers. Drums, electronic drums. But once you load certain samples, you're gonna have to perform with those samples and if you're really, really good, you might be able to get into the Mini Midi Magic Orchestra. We also have the third room because we also have people that, this is not a conservatory, so there are a lot of composers that don't actually play a lot of instruments. And so we have alternative controllers that might be able to help them when it comes to being able to trigger certain sounds in Midi. All of these Midi counterparts and all this stuff are great, but sometimes a lot of kids don't have that. And so having alternative controllers really makes a lot of sense. Right now what we've done is we put a QR code right outside the door. And so if you come right here to Kitty, it's right next to the auditorium. Kitty, this is Kitty 227, 229, and 230. So uh, right there, there's a QR code and you can you know, just scan it. And there you'll find the options for the three rooms. Also, it is mandatory that all students take two mandatory tutorials with me. This way they learn their way around the place. We find out where their best interests are to begin and launch them into whatever they want to do. And also to be able to keep notes of everything that is going on. Remember, this is a laboratory for study. Even if it's the human reflection of study, we have to make sure that there's a progress meter in place so that they don't just come in here, lick every lollipop in the candy store and leave. Music is an art form whose medium is sound. Use that sound as best you can and get me my song.